the injectors are in, so now I want to get this oil rail back in, but I'm going to change all these seals because they're worn out. All of them are worn out. And just putting in back oil rail with worn out seals is not good. So I'd recommend at least replacing the seals if you're not doing the nipple cups. And if you're not replacing all your injectors, at least replace the top seal on the injectors. I clamp it in the vise like this. Just not too tight, just enough to hold it. And my cheap eBay nipple cup tool. This was like eight dollars. And then I got this uses a 23 millimeter socket, which I actually had to buy because I didn't have one. So I just put that on there. I have a big breaker bar. And I just put it on there. These are tight and pretty tight, so make sure that's sitting good. Break this loose, you just turn it counterclockwise. It's gonna be on there real tight, so you're gonna need a good breaker bar. I don't trust I don't I wouldn't trust using the impact on this tool because it's really cheap. But if you have the HHC tool, which costs a lot more, then you'd be fine. One's broken loose. And here we go, breaking this loose. And there you go. These are in there really tight. Center the cup. And this is the last one. And that's the last one. So loose, so I'm gonna unscrew it. Pull it up. Pull up the cup. You see there's a lot of wear on the top here. My truck was starting just fine, even with all that. To get the seal out, I'm just using a cheap pick. You can get these at Harbor Freight real cheap, a full set of them. Put the pick in there, grab the old seal, and then pull it out. The new seal is a Viton, Viton seal, so it's much better quality. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit before I put the new seal in. I'll oil the new seal and put it in. But let me get out all the cups first. All the seals are out. Two of them were so hard it could have possibly broke my pick. They were real hard. So they're definitely not sealing that well. I'm just gonna use a brand new clean rag and clean the inside where the seals go. Got brand new Viton seals, which are better than the original seals. Look how the original seal is super hard. So this is not sealing that well at all. That's why the cups were so loose. It's a brand new Viton seal we're gonna use, nice and flexible. Gonna dip it in some dip it in some brand new T6 and then push it in there. And make sure it's in there, seat it all the way. You just do that for all four of them. Go all around, make sure it's in there good. And there, one is done. I'm just gonna do the other three real quick. I got all my new O-rings in. Now it's time to change, reinstall the nipple cups. I got my new updated design, HHC. And then I got my original. These could probably be polished and reused. But, I will be installing the HHC. The HHC are supposed to be a hardened steel and leak proof. So I'll put that in there. You want to make sure it's centered. 
when you put it in. I'm going to grab one of the rings. I'm going to clean the oil off the threads as best I can. Make sure your cup is centered and then start screwing your ring down. Put my socket on it, or my tool, and just hand tighten it. And I'm gonna do that for all the next three, real quick. All these cups need to torque to 100 foot pounds. So I'm gonna put my setup on there. I have a quick torque wrench. And then I also put my Quinn adapter on it. So we can see how accurate these Pittsburgh torque wrenches are. The Pittsburgh clicks at about 108. Quinn is, uh, the Pittsburgh is off a little bit. So the Pittsburgh is at 108, so the click torque wrench is off a little bit. I'm just going to use just the Quinn to torque them, since it's more accurate. And that's 100.7. So that's all four are torqued, and this oil rail is ready to go back in the truck.